Welcome back to another Thursday on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your Thursday host, Yeka, and this week we are talking about psychic vampires. So our question, which the uh, full length is in the description box below, comes from Devin, who basically asked us to talk about psychic vampires and said that they are, they are one or they identify as one, but have really been um, uncomfortable talking about that with other people, or at least people in the pagan community, because it they've only seen it talked about as a very negative thing. So I have to admit that I had never, before reading this topic, come across it, the term psychic vampire being used in any way other than a derogatory way or as a, as a bad thing. So I have very little knowledge and very little exposure to people who identify as vampires. It's not something that I know really anything about. I know that um, there was someone a few years back on the channel who was, um, but I was never very clear on what that actually meant. And it's not something that I've done a lot of learning about. So. When I looked at this topic, you know, I don't really have a lot to say about what it is, what it isn't. I could look it up on Google the same as you could. So what I wanted to bring to this week in this topic that kind of relates to this topic is talking about how important I think it is, particularly for pagans and particularly in this time period that we're living in, to be able to be welcoming um, and accepting and loving to somebody who believes something different than we do or, or um, has beliefs or practices that we're not familiar with even though we're different and being able to do that and recognize that the person you can be accepting of a person without sharing their beliefs that you don't have to agree with the person to be welcoming to them. That doesn't mean that you have to, I think that having your own personal boundaries about what you do, what you believe, and what you're willing to participate in, how you're willing to be treated is very, very important. And it sounds like that might be a, an important component when dealing with somebody who does identify as a vampire. Again, I don't know that much about it. I'm just guessing. Um, but I'm guessing that consent is probably a really big deal. Um, so I think it's important that we be able to maintain that, um, the, that autonomy and self-control, self, um, that we really be able to consent to things, and not just with... I'm saying that because of the topic stemming from or being acceded from talking about vampirism, but also any other group of people, whether they are disagreeing with you based on um, you have different religious beliefs, different political, different, hell, even dietary, different, whatever your difference is, the person, I don't think, is the idea. And there's a difference between that. So that's what I wanted to contribute to this week is talking about that. Um, so yeah, I hope that that adds something. I would love to hear your comments in the comment section. If you have anything you want to add to this video um, or any experiences related to any of this that you would like to share. So until next week, take care.